joining us, man. Joining us. We got Coach Carowell, man. How you doing, Coach? I'm good, man. What's the deal? What's well, going on? Going good, going good, man. Appreciate, appreciate you joining us. What you looking like this year? Man, you know, we've been all right so far. You mm. know, we uh we ain't had uh two really tough games. Right. You know, we played Arizona second game of the year at the crib. They got us. Um, then we had a back to back and we had to turn around and get ready and go to Chicago, play at Michigan State. And we had a good game against them, which we won. And so right now we three and one. We got a game tonight against LaSalle, which would be a tough game. But uh overall, just all right right now. We still got a long way to go. I just I give my eye. Yeah, okay, eye. okay. But yeah. you know, this college season, it look like it's it's like up in the air, everybody trying to figure, you know, figure figure their teams out first, then figure out the competition. But like, do you see uh the AC the ACC still being the top, you know, uh conference in college right now? Man, you know, you know, our league is, is is has been underrated for the last couple of years. Um, you know, we people and 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 the writers and committees and stuff, they put a lot of stock into the preseason. Uh -huh. You know, so like what you do in November, December, they take no stock into what you do in January, February, and March. So we get we've gotten penalized the last couple of years because of that. But you look at the you look at at the NCAA tournament. And, and yeah. yeah. Nobody had y'all, you know what I'm saying, being as far as y'all was. Yeah, and then what's it, 21-22, we had two teams in the Final Four, you know, uh -huh. and then and then three teams in the Elite Eight. Then last year, they're talking about it was a down year. Well, we still got a team in the Final Four with Miami. Exactly. So I think our league, our league is year in, year out, is one of the best leagues and will forever be one of the best leagues because of the, of the type of guys that we have in our league. We got guys that... <laughs> Going to a lot of guys leave early, go play in the NBA. NBA, yeah. Yeah, we get penalized for that. But overall, man, our league is, I put our league against anybody. And then a lot of those, you know, uh, conferences, they 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 able to develop a team that stay together four years from freshman to senior. And then, you know what I'm saying, with y'all, like you just said, you might lose somebody early. Like to, It's rare that a great player stay all four years in college. Especially at those anymore. ACC schools. Nah, it doesn't happen anymore, man. Yeah. It ain't happening at none of these schools. When I now, when I was coming out, I played in the '90s. I, I'm sounding like an uncle right now, but that's what it is. <laughs> Tim Duncan played four years. Tim Duncan was a senior at Wake Forest. I, at Wake Forest, he he played all four years, and he could have been a number one pick the last three years. So this just let you know that the the really good players back then were staying four years, three four years. Man, you just took me. I, I did not know he stayed all four years. Stayed all four. Man. Yeah, he stayed all four. Um, speaking of, um, you know, staying all four years and stuff like that, when you, you know, a lot of people don't make the transition from playing basketball to coaching. What was yeah. different for you, like, for you to see, like, I like helping. I like, you know what I'm saying? Or... I know how to teach it. A lot of people could tell somebody what to do, you know what I'm saying, but they don't know how to explain it to them and get them on the right track. Like being a mentor is different yeah. than just telling somebody. Yeah, no, you, you know, it's a good question. I had to I had to learn that. You know, when I finished playing, I stopped playing in 08. And as soon as I stopped playing, J.J. Reddick, it was his second year in the league with Orlando. Mm -hmm. And me and him had a pretty good relationship. He called me and was like, look, I'm going to be in Durham. For a couple of months, I want you to work me out. I was like, what? <laughs> work you out? I'm like, Shit. so now I'm going to like just finish playing. Now I got to try to put together workouts for one of the greatest shooters that's ever right. played and also who was a pro. And so I give him a lot of credit because he got me, he threw me right in there. He trusted me for whatever reason. And um, I really learned a lot by doing the player development stuff early on, how to put together workouts. Uh, with J.J., Drill Henderson, Kyrie Irving, Kyle Singler, those guys. Like, I really – and so then now you take from developing guys, putting that – then now you got to learn how to coach. And I really learned how to coach. You got to learn how to coach. Just because you play – Yeah, because a lot of people, mean. they can't coach. What it do, man? It's your boy Nav Green with Broken Play. And if you're not on prize picks, what are you doing, man? Prize picks got a thing where whatever you put up, they're going to match it up to $100. If you put up $50, they're going to match your $50. If you put up $80, they're going to match your $80.
You can put up $100 and they gonna match you $100. Look, this the best time to get on prize picks. When you use the code broken play, they match that. But not just that. You got college basketball in. You got NFL in. You got college football in. You got NBA. It's so many sports going on. Wait, it helps. All you got to do is pick six, six things. It could be a collective. Basketball, football. Put it together. You can win 25 times your money. Say you put up 100. 100 times 25, that bring you back 2,500. You don't get it that time, they done matched your money, so you got $100 to try it again. Man, what you waiting for, man? KD going crazy right now with the points. Always take LeBron with them assists. Far as blocks and steals, we like Anthony Davis. We got college football. We loving uh, Carson Beck with Georgia. That's a sure bet with the yards. He going to throw that rock. Man, we got uh, NFL. Tyreek Hill is a touchdown machine. Come on, man. What you waiting for? Shout out to CJ Stroud. He been winning us money over here with uh, Broken Play. Man, it's so many things you could do. It's easy. All you're doing is picking more or less. If you don't think they could do it, pick less. If you think they could do it, pick more. Stephen Curry with the three points attempt. I always go more. I don't care if they have it at 48. I like them to do 49 of them. Man, shout out to Prize Picks. Get over there. Tell them we sent you. Broken play. You got to learn it, man. It's a craft. And, Coach, you'll hear some people say they don't want to coach later. Like, these guys different. Like, they, they'll sense it if they feel like a, a player is not like how they, you know, played or how they were brought up. They don't even, like, dwell into it long. They get out nah, of there. Wait, look, man, look. If you if, Look, every generation was different. I'm pretty sure the 70s, 80s cats was talking about how we was. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> that's just what it is, man. But you got to adjust. And you got to learn, like, you know, the triggers and what pushes guys and how to relate to them. But most important, if you have a relationship with them, you got to have relationships with them. I can coach you. I can, You can get on a kid if you got a relationship with right. them. Right. Because you know I ain't just fussing at you the whole time. I ain't I'm, just I'm fussing gonna be, at you. Yeah, we going to talk. We going to kick it. But when I when I got to get on you, I'm going to get on you. I'm going to get on you. They respect that. Well, for you sure. Know? Hey, so look, coach, about two weeks ago, we were having a debate. We were talking about some of the greatest Duke players to ever, you know, ever play and go in the league. So, you know, uh -huh. a lot of people, you you hear your... I'm talking about, like, because you said you helped with Kyrie. Is Kyrie... Do you put Kyrie in the same boat with Grant Hill? I don't. I don't. For real? Now, it's what Kyrie did, what, what he's done in the league and did for our 11 games, he was he was incredible. <laughs> the 11 games he played yeah, in Duke, he, he was incredible. a remarkable... And he's one of our best pros, if, if not, you know, career-wise. If not the best pro, he's one of the best. He's top three for, in terms for sure. of career, NBA career. And uh, he may be the most skilled basketball player to ever play. Him, I put him right up there with Kobe and Kevin Durant. I'm talking about skill. Yeah, I feel you. I, I know what you're range, talking about. Three ball. Left, right hand, float, whatever, however you want to do it. Go you left, go right. Go right. Trickery, yeah. <laughs> fundamental, big shot create maker, like creator. Uh -huh. But he, I can't put him up there with, with the grants, the Leitners. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, well, we weren't technically talking about in college. We probably were talking about like just to come from Duke. I'll say that. Oh, oh, oh coming from Duke? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah but we but we nah. <laughs> Well, we had Grant Hill. We had Grant Hill and a lot of um, who you had said, uh, Greg. He said Jabari Park. He had said Jabari Park. Man, Jabari, look, I was looking at some highlights. Kyrie definitely in there. Okay, for, for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. There's not even no question. Like he didn't have one of the best NBA careers out of our guys. Jabari Park. If Jabari Park doesn't get hurt, he's an All Star. Easily. He don't get hurt now. Now, he uh -huh. tore his knee twice now. Right. First time he tore his knee, he came back. He was even better. Uh -huh. He was averaging 20 now. Then he yeah. tore it again. See? And cats don't... Cats don't they, they don't remember they that. They don't that. speak on that. Yeah, you right. They don't speak on that. His one year at Duke was magical. <laughs> he, he was... Jabari Park was a bad boy, man. A bad boy. Just some... The injuries, man. He had two major knee injuries within the span of five years. How I feel to see Zion Williamson getting back on track? Man, love Z, man. Love Z. Love Z, man. You know, I look, you're going to go through stuff in life. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go through 
some trials and tribulations. And Z went through his 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 thing. Cause it's like they wrote him off. They wrote him off, but pound for pound, if he right, man, oh, I'm, I'm saying this year, I'm taking I'm taking that big fella when he's yeah. right. <laughs> he on my squad, baby. For sure. If you had to put your five best players you done coached, who 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 would they be? That's a good question right there. Mm. That's a good question. Well, I'm going to go back since I've been at Duke. I came back to Duke in 18. Uh -huh. I got to go. Boy, you hit me with a, a haymaker. But I'm Zion and RJ for sure. For real. Uh -huh. And they were on the same team. Zion, RJ for sure. Zion, RJ, Paolo, Ooh. Mark Williams, and and then Trey Jones, Trey Jones, Trey Jones. And I'm 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 gonna give you I'm gonna give you a hit though. That Vernon Carey was right there, man. That Vernon Carey was a bad boy. He get lost in the shuffle because of the Kobe year. Mm -hmm. Vernon Carey, how he not on somebody NBA roster is crazy to me. He, crazy. Right. Vernon Carey was a bad boy, but if I had to go with five, I'm going with Trey, R.J. Zion, Paolo. Mark Williams. Okay. So you you still keep in touch with him and all that, like, after... It seemed Man. like the Duke, like... Well, not even just Duke, but it all, like, you know, though, it's like a, a brotherhood. You'll see them still going to games and see, like, after the game, they gonna dab each other up. Yeah, man, it's, it's straight love. We get to, you know, like, I, I talked to Paolo last night. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hit these guys. We go see these guys, man. We, we support these guys. And you know, not only not only the NBA guys, because like that get a, you know, the NBA is easy to support them. Everybody supports yeah. them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like even the other guys that are not NBA guys, we keep in contact with them, man. They all our guys. You know what I'm saying? Whether you play in the NBA or you overseas, man, we we love them all, man. We love them all. And I think, you know, that's that's that, that's what the brotherhood's about. Yeah, the NBA guys are the guys that's in the spotlight, but we also got great relationship with guys who are coaching. Who not playing and who overseas, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Once you put on that Duke jersey, man, and play, and you you're a part of it, man. And we, we hold that, we take that seriously. So Cooper finna put on that uh that Duke jersey soon. How, how y'all feel about snagging him? Oh man, shit, it was a, it's incredible, man. Our <laughs> class, that class is uh it's incredible, man, with Cooper. Uh, I said Evans is a bad boy. The Conquer right. Nipple a bad boy. You got Darren Harris a bad boy. Pat Gumba, we got we got some bad boys coming Man, in. It, it looking scary. Yeah, you know we, what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of those cool. North Carolina fans over here. They, they looking Yo, scary. Hey, man, tell them, hey man, just take it easy. <laughs> hey, y'all got some, y'all got some boys too though. Yeah, I got some boys too. But you know, we 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 got through Big Coop in there. That just. You know what I'm saying? Take it to the yeah, level. That, 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 broke, that broke the internet for a couple of days. Broke the internet. It did. Yeah. It did, man. man. But, like, you know, when, when it comes to recruiting, man, like, it's all good. But it, there, there definitely is an adjustment. No matter how good you are in uh -huh. high school, it's definitely an adjustment when you get to the college level. Oh, no yeah. It. And it's a difference from college to the NBA. Like, you, you see that, uh, too. A hundred percent. So look, I'm gonna ask you this: How hard it is for a coach if you have basically like one year to really get the team chemistry going before the NCAA double tur NCAA double tournament and all that type of stuff? NCAA it's, tournament, they yeah, I know what you're saying. Man. No, you knew what hard, I was man. saying, man. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, no. It's hard. It's it's, it's hard, man, because you don't have a lot. You know, you're trying to get these guys who are all big time players. In high school, now you're trying to get them to mix buy into a system. They game buy into a system where well, they was all the man where they coming from. Uh huh. So you get cats, and then cats coming back to school. It's hard trying to get these dudes to buy in, man, every day. But you know, we work with them every day. We show them film, and then you know, we preach it every day. And that's something that you you got to show, you got to preach, and you got to hold them accountable. You know, if they're not doing the something that's that's the best for the team, we hold them accountable and point it out every day. Gotcha. What you taking, coach? The money or the uh, or the rings? Money. Every, <laughs> every time. Hey, hey, what, 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 think about it. You know what I'm saying? It's only a few guys that get judged for the rings. Uh-huh. LeBron's. 
the Jordans, the great, the greatest of the greats, uh -huh. they get judged how how many rings they have. Which have you want to judge that? You know, what I'm saying everybody else. <laughs> so if you got a chance, to get you that one twenty. I have a 120. You better get that thing, man. You better get it. Uh, man, that's probably look. the realest take I done heard on it. That makes sense. Because you know how you be hearing some people like, man, nobody care if you get the ring or the money, man. Man, look, who who do we debate? We debate the greatest of the greats. Right. We don't, And so everybody else, unfortunately, they get lost in the shuffle. If you're not the one or two best players on the team, you get lost in the shuffle. So if, if that's going to be the case... <laughs> Look, I was a role player on the team that that lost in the national championship game, and I would have had to have a, a incredible game for cats to remember. And we would have won it, and I had a good game. But they they always gonna give it to the stars. Gotcha. They always debate the stars and the superstars. So if you ain't one of those guys, you got a chance to cash in. Get, get that, that bread. bread. Get that bread, my boy. <laughs> Every time. Hey, Coach, who's some players that, you know, didn't get the recognition that you think should? Like, you know, some, like, underground heroes or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got those players like, man, he was, a couple things just went wrong with him, but he had it. Um, That'll come right off top that you think. John, do you you want to go NBA, college? Or I, I'm going to tell you a couple cats, a couple players that, I was talking to my um, my, my youngest son about this. There's so many good players out there, you know, but, like, do you know these guys, like Joe Johnson? Yeah. Who played for the Hawks? Yeah. Like, these guys don't even know who, you know, they be like, who he played for? Steve Smith. Man, Steve like, Smith played for the Hawks, too. Cold. Boy, it was cold, man. Yeah. It what college he went was, to? Michigan State, was it? Michigan State. Yeah. Well, he was at the game the other day. Uh huh. And when we played him, and I'm looking at that, and you know, I go holler at him, but I'm like, man, I, he was one of them ones. Yeah. Big guard, 6'8, he was uh -huh. a 6'8, 2 guard. Yeah. Back in, in the 90s. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They forget some of these cats, man. Glenn Rice, it's, it's a lot of. It's a lot of guys like that. I mean, the Penny Hardaways, you know, like where I feel like if those guys don't get injured, you know, how would they career would it have turned out? Penny was Penny cold. Hardaway, yeah. Oh, man. Penny Hardaway. I have to imagine Johnson. He my favorite player. For real? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. He was a bad boy. But if he don't get hurt, he won in the mourns. Mm. Grant Hill don't get hurt, he won in the mourns. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From that era. But there's a lot of guys out there, man, from that I looked up to that was that 6'8", 6'7", 6'8", big that guard. Were, yeah. That changed the game that, that that's, that's underrated. If you don't, you know, if you, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't like, it's like, a, you know, the discussions are already always LeBron, which rightfully so, LeBron, Jordan, and, and the greatest of the greats. But there's some guys in there that have some game that people forget. Right. That 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 tier, that tier where they were hooping like like crazy, but it just was hooping, like, hooping. yeah. They just, you know, you know how it is. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know who, you know who, who. So when mm -hmm. you 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 went to the Spurs, um, when you got to the NBA, right? Mm -hmm. How was it with Greg Popovich? Did did he, he help with? Do you still remember some of his coaching tactics that you was you know what I mean keep? Yeah, well, to this well, day, you know I was with the Spurs. Yeah, I was with the Spurs for a short time, and they they cut me like right before the regular season, and mm -hmm. I was with them for the summer training camp. I actually had a, a guaranteed year. I thought I was gonna make it. I was playing well in preseason too. Right. I was kind of pissed off they cut me because I was rolling a little bit. <laughs> but uh, the, the short period that I was there, um, I just remember our, our first preseason game. We played Philly, uh huh, in Philly, and uh, you know we I, I don't know if we won or lost, but the next day we had a we have a tape session. Gotcha. And in the tape session, Tim Duncan was supposed to be in the ball screen coverage, but wasn't in that coverage. So we watch a film. He stops the film and is like, Tim, like, what what coverage are we supposed to be in? I guess to say the coverage was a drop coverage where he was supposed to be back or whatever. Whatever the coverage was, he wasn't in. And Papa Bidget, like, got on his ass. <laughs> like, got on Tim Duncan. Yeah. Like, he... Was, like, didn't like, well... In front of everybody. Like, like didn't shoot the coverage. In front of everybody. 
And I was like, ooh. <laughs> I was like, I'm a rookie. I'm thinking, like, he get on Tim Duncan. Ain't nobody safe around here. Ain't nobody safe around here. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's why I knew I, that's why I knew he now Tim Duncan allowed that because if you can coach your best player, you could coach anybody. You, you can coach anybody. So, so you I, can see why they was winning championships during I that time and winning, all that. Now you gotta have a humble superstar. And there was nobody, he's a guy too that like forgotten, like Tim Duncan, top he in my top five list all the time. He's a bad boy. He got but the he, rings too. He got he got everything. Don't, don't play it against the best. Like you, he don't play it in whatever era you say he can't play in, in. In the Kobe Shaq era, now he got yeah. five rings. Now, and the LeBron, he got he got, five a, he rings, got rings in LeBron. He got five now. Yeah. And so and so when I saw Papa Bitch do that, I was like, yo, okay, I see, okay. That's that's what he was. He was. It was probably it was like Coach K. They held their best players accountable. And they weren't afraid to coach their best players. That's why those guys were, were the best. You got to be able to get on your best guys. For sure. How is that post, uh, post Coach K era going now? Like, is it the same, the same feeling? Because, you know, like, you just, when you would see Duke, you would just automatically think of Coach K being on that, that, that coaching sideline. No, nah, man, it's different. It's different. Anytime you lose a figure like that, now was he a coach? He was a... Man, he was a he was a figure. He was Coach Coach K. Who Coach? I mean, it was Coach K. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And uh, anytime you lose somebody that that powerful, uh, that 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 bigger of a figure, it's definitely different. But John's done an excellent job of trying to you know do it his own way. Taking right? Yeah, yeah. That he's learned from Coach K, but also throwing his sprinkle into it, his way into it, and he's done an excellent job. The hardest thing in in, in profession is replacing a legend because mm. you. You, it's it's the hardest thing ever, and so they, you're gonna be compared daily and, all the time. You win, yeah. you win a championship. Okay, that's good. You gotta do it. You gotta try to do it again. But I just won the one. It's hard to win one, man. It's hard to win one. It's hard to even get to the final four, especially during this era. Do you think um, with the NIL and social media, how has that impacted college? Oh man, it's impacted. For me, being an old school guy, it's impacted for the uh, look. I ain't gonna say for the worst because it, it it's some good and bad mm-hmm. that come out of all of it. God, these guys should be getting some some money for sure. You know, the social media thing, man. That's the gift and the curse. You gotta take the good and with the bad with that stuff because you know they're gonna praise you a lot and mm-hmm. they're gonna get on your tail a lot too. If you have a bad game, they're gonna kill you now. And so right. you gotta take that. You gotta take that with a. A grain of salt. Stay even, kid. We try to tell, hey, look, man, it ain't all bad. It ain't all good. It's just stay, keep, stay humble. You know what I'm saying? Keep everything in perspective. And, but the NIL thing is, it's different. Now, I, w- I wish I would have got, I wish I was getting the bread these cats was getting. But it, was, it, it was also a purity about college, you know, where, you know, you, you, you know, you in college back then, it was just these guys now, they driving Benzes, Audis, and stuff. And it's like, all right. Ain't no walking to class. And they know, ain't no walking to class, man. So it's different, but you know, they they definitely should be getting money, though. No, no doubt about it. For sure, for sure. But now nah, I, I feel you on that. Like it, it should have been some compensation, huh? Come on, man. That would, hey, that would have, that would have, that would have made, that would have made a lot of them stay with them four years. Come on, man. Just a little bit, man. It just need a little hit. Just a little, <laughs> little bit. For sure, for sure. So besides, like you know, the players that came from Duke, what's what's some of your favorite teams? Like, do you be keeping up with NBA mostly, or you? Oh yeah, I love the NBA, man. I, um, you know, I'm a Celtics fan now because of Tatum, Tatum from the Lou. So yeah. Anybody that's doing all right from the Lou, I'm I'm rolling with them. Tatum being played in Duke from the Lou. Yeah. From the hometown, so I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm a Celtics fan. They got my man Sam Hauser, who I coached at Marquette there. Okay. And my man Emil Jefferson, who shoot on the coaching him, boy. So he shoot that thing. Emil Jefferson's on the coaching staff now. So I'm a. Uh, I hate to say it, I was a long time Lakers fan. You know, from Magic and Worthy and Kareem and those guys, mm-hmm. and Kobe, Shaq. But now I roll with the C's. Hey man, and then oh yeah, you did a drastic switch. And hey, well, that you bring that up, I just was into watching. You know. Um, Winning time, so it was like that era talking about that era. And man, I knew I never was a Laker fan, but I would have been a diehard Laker fan if I grew up doing them. Man, like it, you, it was you, like the if culture. You grew up, if you give grew up in the eighties, like I did, I'm old. 
when you grew up in the 80s, you was either rolling with the Lakers or the Celtics. It wasn't no in-between. If you was a, a black kid from inner city, St. Louis, you rolling with the Lakers. Lakers. They had, and they had magic. They had everything. With Showtime. Back then, that was you was getting one game. You was getting maybe one, two games a week. Mm-hmm. So you and you and the Lakers was always on, and so it was Laker. It was like man, show Magic Johnson. Oh, hey, man, look, I know you ain't lying because I'm watching. This is uh they showing like a representation, and the and the guy who playing Magic, I'm like, man, buddy, smooth as hell. So I know Magic was tw- ten times smoother than that. Man, Magic was incredible. The watch, man, the watch him live, I know that was crazy, uh, man. I was crazy. Magic and Bird saved the NBA, man. They saved the NBA. The Magic and Bird, Larry Bird, all that stuff, they saved the NBA. The NBA back then, late 70s, early days, shit, the NBA finals used to be shown on tape delay. It wasn't even shown live. Oh, wasn't even shown live. But then because of Magic and Bird, the whole country got behind me. You got the Lakers versus Celtics. You got the East versus the West. You they want to see that. White. Yeah. They want to see that. Uh-huh. They got Hollywood against Blue Collar. The story. So you want to see that. And so that, that that drove the ratings. And then the NBA has never been the same after that. Then you kick in Jordan and Barkley and all these guys come in. The NBA just took off. Hey, what it, what it was like to watch Jordan live? Mm. The, look, I love LeBron. <laughs> I love Magic Johnson, my favorite player of all time. The best player I ever seen with my own two eyes. Uh-huh. I don't get into numbers, championships, who got the most points. The best player that I, I've ever seen. Right. <laughs> my own two eyes. Ain't nobody better than that Michael Jordan, cuz. I'm sorry. Hey, so my Coach, now that you when you say that, okay, but look. Is it because of the shooting guards that he was playing against during the time where you don't you you just know? You put Mike, look, man. <laughs> when I talk to when I talk to guys from his day, mm-hmm. they like and, and if you look at his game, his game now, oh, you can't touch him. You can't touch him. Yeah. <laughs> the way they play now, you know, they played the dude was a he was a he had everything. Yeah. He had everything, the athleticism, the the, the drive. He had everything. He was a perfect basketball player. Right. And so you put him into to, to today's game? <laughs> He'll be shooting 40 free throws a game. Man, listen, man. This dude was this dude was one of one of one, man. That's why when we, if you if you would see Michael Jordan, dog, right now, if Michael Jordan was to walk like down the street, you saw him. You you would stare at him for the next ten minutes. You would just be like, "Yo, <laughs> it ain't like nothing you ever seen before, sir." Right, man. No, but when it, you see Mike and you see the stuff he was doing, it was like nobody. You know, like now, you might see this player and see that player, and they may have similar game. When you watch Mike highlights, he the only person who was doing that type of stuff. So it like. Bro, they must went drug testing or something. Like he hanging in the air, like, like why? Just for no he, reason. He was a he was a monster. Like, like but I'm saying, shoot. coach, what would make you train to do that if nobody else doing it? Why man, would you just, just feel that, like you need to saying. hang in the air? Man, you different. You <laughs> hanging in the air, man, for sticking your tongue out. He was doing all type of work. <laughs> in, the, in the shoe game. We already know the shoe game. He changed the shoe game. Forever. Yeah. He changed the shoe Still game. to this day. George is the number one thing. Nike is the number one company when it comes to shoes in the world because it's Michael Jordan. The shoe game is crazy. Hey, and your boy, you say he's your favorite player, Magic Johnson. You know he turned down Nike when they came to... Uh... He did, but that's how that's how it was supposed to go, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it was... Nike... The, the whole check and the Air Jordan thing, it was it just go made together. One, it was it was just, it was just tailor made for one cat. Not yeah. saying magic, yeah, he turned. But look, it was tailor made, man. God put that dude in that position, man. To and that dude was, I'm telling you, man, that dude was incredible. Not, look, LeBron, incredible. I don't take nothing away from, but, but for me, pound for pound, the guy, and, the guy and then I what see, you see, you know, I feel you. Jordan, Jordan. If you wouldn't have went to Duke, what's another college you was looking at? I would have went to uh, Syracuse. For real? Yeah, that was my second choice. I love Jim Beheim. 
uh-huh. at that time. Syracuse, because they had some bad boys, man. Like during the 80s, they had Derrick Coleman, Billy Owens, my man who coaching there now, Adrian Autry. They had Lavelle Moten, Stephen Thompson, Sherman Douglas, Ronnie Cycli. Them, them boys had some boys, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Cubes was balling. John Wallace. Back in the but who played for the Knicks, them boys, the Cuse was doing it, son. Mm-hmm. The Cuse was doing it. So for me, I was love that. I love the Cuse. And so I took a visit there. I took a visit there in October. It was snowing. Like a, <laughs> it was snowing like crazy. I'm like, damn, man, it's cold as hell up here. Then I took a visit to Duke the next weekend. It was 75 degrees in October. I was like, yo, this ain't where I'm gonna be at. I'm like, yo, this ain't too bad. Yeah. Then, you know, you got, then you got Duke. Then I found out North Carolina Central was about five minutes away. Oh, and yeah. You, you right there where you need to be. Oh, I'm right there in the mix. Yeah. I'm right there in the mix. <laughs> I ain't too far. And then we're coming from St. Louis. Um, that's a, That was a big difference, like, going to, to Durham, though. I'm not going to Durham and Duke. I'm coming from I'm coming from the north side in the city, single yeah. parent house. I'm coming from the th- and I come to do talking about an adjustment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? An adjustment. I'm like, yo, people speaking, trees, and everybody, hey, hey, so nice yeah. to you. I'm like, man, this is this is hype right here. So I embraced it though early because I was like, yo, man, this is this is living. But it was a, it was definitely an adjustment, you know what I'm saying? But the, the the community embraced me, and then you know, shoot, man, at Duke, man, you play on the, you you. Oh, they love they athletes. They, they treat yeah, they treat you, they treat you good, man. But but those people are gonna be they big time too. So yeah, you might be a big time athlete, but the people this might Duke, be the biggest engineer you gonna see that you gonna see. Uh huh. Have so, you ever seen a rivalry like that, Duke in North Carolina? Never, never, ain't nothing like even it, on man. TV, man. Ain't nothing <laughs> like. Uh, Ain't nothing like it. Y'all can lose all the games as long as y'all beat North Carolina. Nothing nothing like it, man. Nothing like it. Now, you know, I grew up watching it, but then to actually get a chance to play in it, I was like, yo, man, this is is, crazy, man. Man, Coach, I I was, um, I know I was like young watching Duke North Carolina. I remember asking my dad, because I'm watching the game, and I'm, Duke was playing North Carolina. They were standing up the whole time jumping. I said, ain't no way they standing up the whole game like that. Man, they stood they up the trip. whole game. The white boys had Duke written on them, and they just up and down. Now, they might have had Blue Devils written on them. Whatever they had, they didn't sit down, though. Man, that thing was since I'm telling you, man. That play and I know it be loud. Oh, man. It, it just, it's just a different level than playing anybody else, man. They... You feel it as a coach. I, I've been fortunate enough to play in it, but also I played against Carolina 10 times. Then I've been able to come back and coach against them. You get the same. It's one of the few games as a coach that you get the same feeling as a player. Like you play it. That's crazy. That's like you playing. You get the same feeling. Like you get the same feeling that you don't get. Like coaching, like play, ain't nothing like playing. I don't care what nobody say. Ain't nothing like playing. You would rather play. But now if you coaching, you don't you get it, but you don't get it to that level as playing. You get that with the Carolina game. Hey, so coach. look, do some players come back? How do we how do the new players still have that same type of hate? <laughs> well, you know, it just it just it, you know what? It ain't really hate. Well, you know, but it, I'm saying to, to keep the it, rivalry it, so strong. Well, it just it just uh it, it's a uh, the people around you talk about it. Mm. Like for the for the week, the week leading up to the game, they gonna play all the games on classic. You know what I'm saying? All the fans is coming out in the area. Everybody knows that game. So you just like you throwing into it. Mm-hmm. You throwing into the it. The alumni it. coming back to the school just to Everybody, see the game. Like, man, it's just a different, it's just a different vibe, man. It's just a different but it's like it's like going to Beyonce concert or some Jay Z is like yeah okay you go to uh, this the one this, this the one this the one you was talking about Tatum one of your favorite players him being from St Louis did you ever play against his father because I don't of course that's my guy for real okay yeah, pop, yeah, pops we, could go pops could who we started up 
he, we went to we started off at Cardinal Ritter together. He was a freshman my sophomore year. That's my that's my man. And then he transferred to CBC to play with Larry Hughes, old school name back in the day. Larry oh, Hughes. Oh yeah, was, Larry good, Hughes played really with the Seventy Sixers. Yeah, it was a cold NBA mm-hmm. player. Um, but yeah, that's my yeah his, his dad. Can, yo, genetics is strong. And Brandy played uh, was a volleyball player. So you know what I'm saying? You get the combination of yeah. Brandy playing volleyball, uh, Big J hooping. <laughs> then you get a perennial <laughs> MVP. Man. <laughs> Type player. And this year right now, they going crazy. Uh they had a they they fell to Charlotte uh last, last night, night, but yeah. that was yeah, it that don't mean nothing. <laughs> yeah. Right, they they, right. they they getting ready for the they getting ready for the, the big playoff. So you yeah. so you got Boston and who else coming uh being in the finals this year? Man, I got Boston. And I got, um, I think I still got Denver right now. That boy, that boy, hey, what it is like, what it is about Joker, man. Well, he got the great combination of, uh, he got the IQ. He got the IQ, first of all. First of all. Got the basketball IQ. And he can do everything on the basketball court. He can shoot. He can handle, pass, post. Shoot threes. <laughs> what what can he do? He, could he survive in that nineties era? Yes, easily. Easy. Uh-huh. Easy. You want to you want to get physical? He can get physical. Yeah. Want to get physical? Look, the nineties era, and I, I'm an old school. Uh huh. But the nineties era, to me, after Joy left, and even when Joy was in there, it was a bad bad. It's a it was a bad brand. You know what I'm saying? It was it was it was too physical. So like you get guys, they just you go to the hole, they just knocking you out the air and said like that's yeah that's that basketball. ain't basketball <laughs> that ain't basketball <laughs> now you won't play oh is it basketball or, you know what I'm saying football mm-hmm. so I'm not saying like the game now it may be a little bit soft I wish it was a little bit tougher yeah but you like, you you would want it middle ground in between I want, I want a little bit more middle ground but I'm leaning toward more to this brand of basketball of like. You know, I, not as many th- like they shoot a lot of threes, which I get it. They took kind of took the mid range game, except for the star players. But the the nineties was crazy, man. Them dudes was just knocking cats in the head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like they was man, they was thugging it back then. NBA scores in regulation one forty seven. Uh, uh that, yeah, that, see that's outrageous. Yeah, Milwaukee versus uh, I saw Milwaukee versus Washington. It was like one forty seven to one thirty eight. Yeah, them boys like how. Up. They ain't playing no defense, man. It's like a pickup. They're game. like an all star game. Like a pickup game, man. Yeah. Like they just got the best players playing pickup. So I, but you know, but when it comes to the playoffs, they get a little down and dirty with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, like. yeah. They turn up the intensity. They turn up in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Man, I appreciate you uh, talking and chopping it up with us, coach, man. Good luck no doubt, this season. Man. No doubt, man. Thanks for having me on, man. Yeah, any, any, anything. You had, you had a question for him? Any, other, any question? Oh, man, <laughs> Greg said, pull up when you're here. <laughs> oh, yeah, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. No doubt, I hit him when I get in. Oh, hey, any, uh, any, anybody who be on the show, we ask them for, uh, I be saying the word wrong, but member bill them. Member bill you. Yeah, member bill you. So, yeah, yeah man. I'm, I'm, yeah, just, just hit me the address. I'll get y'all some, some stuff. Man, that's love, Coach, man. Appreciate no your good season. And this year, we're going to root for Duke to beat North Carolina, man. All right, my boy. This my year. Boy. Man, take All it right. easy, Coach. All right, go. All right, y'all be good, man.